And one of the names I want to highlight right now is Facebook. We're seeing shares off more than 4% today in the afternoon trade, following an interesting uh, about face in terms of ad policy there after much controversy and scrutiny uh, being suffered by CEO Mark Zuckerberg around his election policies. The company announced a ban on new political ads for the week leading up to election day here in the U.S. and the fact that it will remove posts that try to suppress or discourage voting. And for more on that, we're joined by Yahoo Finance's Rick Newman. And Rick, I mean, Mark Zuckerberg's been pretty adamant about not caving to political pressures here to get ads off. I guess it's a change if you're talking about the week leading up to the election. But is that enough? I think your skepticism is valid, Zach. Uh, it's pretty narrow. I mean, I guess you could say it's better than nothing, um, but it's pretty narrow. So any ads that are already running on Facebook before that, we get to that one week window before the election, they can continue to run. What fa Facebook is saying is they're just not, not going to take new ads in that period of time. And I guess what they're, uh, what they're thinking is uh, there could be some efforts to basically dissuade people from voting right at the last minute. Um, and that's what they want to prevent. And of course, they also want to prevent any public criticism that they played a role in the election outcome as they, uh, as we now know they did in 2016. So, a, a, you know, fairly narrow ban on political ads here. And when we talk about the fears, though, in this note from Mark Zuckerberg, he also highlighted that this is not going to be business as usual. And the fact that there is an increased risk of civil unrest, and I think that that's important to note here when we think about half of the country, how divided we are right now, half the country is not going to be happy with the results that come on election day. What does that maybe say about maybe some of the uh, concessions here and the realization on Zuckerberg's part that some of this could lead to some very scary outcomes? Well, if you're Facebook, I think it, very clearly you don't want to be associated with either side in the election because then you end up um, alienating the other half, as you pointed out, and you know just becoming a target for criticism and who knows else. So um, you know, Facebook, uh, if you just go back to the history here, fa Facebook was unaware of everything the Russians and others were doing on its platform in uh, 2016. And even a month after the election, Mark Zuckerberg said it was ridiculous to think that Facebook had any role. And now we know that there were these um, Russian groups that were basically trying to dissuade uh, Democrats from getting out to vote. So Facebook, you know, what I keep thinking about, Facebook is clearly fighting the last war here. And uh, the question is, uh, is, is that still the battlefield? Is the, ba is the battlefield still the way it was in 2016? Are the tactics that the Russians and anybody else who might be trying to influence the election, are those tactics the same? If, if they have different tactics, does Facebook have the capability to detect them? Um, Facebook's, you know, their, uh, their radars are clearly tuned into everything they think might be happening. But I think you could say they're, um, you know, what they're d actually doing about it is fairly um, targeted and somewhat limited at this point. Yeah, and let's not forget we're only about a couple months removed from that uh, advertising we're boycott months. on the platform. We're already two months, man. Yeah, they were already. Uh, it's only been two months since we saw that advertiser boycott about them not doing enough. We'll see if this is enough to appease a lot of those uh, critics of Mark Zuckerberg. But we'll see what happens. Uh, Rick Newman, appreciate you bringing us that. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.